hello friends welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine so on that note let's start this video this is week 5 assignment of data analytics with python course friends please watch the video till the end because if you skip the video you may miss some content and also if i modify any solution you may miss that so please do watch full video so friends i hope every solution is 100% correct if you want to suggest me any changes you can ask me in the comment section so let's get to the first question now the first one the f ratio in a completely randomized anova is the ratio of so for first question the correct answer is m s t r by m s e so the answer is second option so mark second option as correct answer for first question and moving on to the second one a term that means the same as the term variable in an anova procedure is so for second question the correct answer is first option that is factor factor means same term as variable so mark first option as correct answer for second question and moving on to the third one and anova procedure is used for four samples each comprised of 30 observations were taken from the four populations the numerator and denominator respectively degrees of freedom for the critical value of f r so they are asking degrees of freedom for both numerator and denominator respectively for the critical value of f so for third question the answer will be fourth option for numerator uh, the degrees of freedom is 3 and for denominator it is 116 116 so mark fourth option as correct answer for third question and moving on to the next one that is fourth question which of the following is not a required assumption for the analysis of variance here they are asking not a required assumption so for fourth question the answer is fourth option that is populations have equal means it is not a required assumption so mark fourth option as correct answer for fourth question and moving on to the fifth one if sum of square between treatments is equal SSTR it is represented by SSTR that is sum of square between treatments SSTR is equals 6750 so sum of square error square of error SSE is 8000 so the mean square between treatments MSTR equals so for fifth question the correct answer that will be arrived after the calculation is fourth option that is 2250 so mark fourth option as correct answer for fifth question and now moving on to the sixth one refer to q5 that means this question is based on the previous fifth question so we can use this data to calculate this one also so the in sixth question they are asking the mean square within treatments mse equals to in the previous question we have measured mstr here we have to measure mse so the mse for the question will be option b that is 500 so we will get 500 when we calculate msc 
for the fifth question and moving on to the seventh one refer to question 5 that means again it is based on fifth question only in the seventh one refer to q5 the test statistic to test the null hypothesis is equals so they are asking to find the test statistic to test the null hypothesis so the value for this is fourth option that is 4.5 so mark fourth option as correct answer for fourth question i mean seventh question guys once again let's see uh, from first to seventh question now once again so for first question second option for second question first option for third question fourth option for fourth one fourth option again for fifth one fourth option again and for sixth question it is second option 500 and the seventh question the answer is fourth option that is 4.5 and now move on to the eighth question an ANOVA procedure is applied to data obtained from six samples where each sample contains 20 observations the degrees of freedom for the critical value of FR so for eighth question the answer is option 3 5 numerator and 114 denominator respectively the degrees of freedom for numerator is 5 and for denominator is 114 so mark third option and now moving on to the ninth question the critical f value with 6 numerator and 60 denominator degrees of freedom at alpha 0 0.05 that means here the degrees of freedom for numerator is 6 and for denominator it is 60 at alpha is equals 0 0.05 they are asking the critical f value so for ninth question the answer we will get after calculation is second option that is 2.25 so mark option B as correct answer for ninth question. And moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is 10th question. The ANOVA procedure is a statistical approach for determining whether or not. So we have to complete the sentence for this given statement. So what is ANOVA basically? We want to know that before the answer answering this question. The ANOVA procedure is a statistical approach for determining whether or not the means of two or more samples are equal that means second option second option is the correct answer for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 5 data analytics with python course hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends Guys, if you want to uh, mean suggest any solutions or you want to want me to change any solution, you can ask me in the comment section. So before the submission moment, once again check the video section for any updates. So I hope every solution is uh, almost correct. If you want any changes, you can ask me in the comment section. So guys, for further more videos, keep supporting me like this. Until then, goodbye. Thank.